Hi, I'm Professor Shifty McNuggets, PhD, and I'm here to tell you about that one guy's theory about arrows and whatnot. Let's step outside and take a look, shall we? Okay, well, I'm here to test that one guy's theory about the theory of Half-Life, not the popular video game, the theory that when you shoot an arrow at something, it goes so far, it goes halfway there, and then it has to go another halfway there, and then another halfway there, and it'll never reach the target. So, helping me today is my willing assistant, Jeeves. Jeeves, are you ready? Good. Let's see how this goes. I'm preparing to fire. Firing. Um, let's go inside, shall we? Well, we sure proved that theory wrong. Let's start a new lecture on limits. Well, limits are the things that a number always approaches, but it never quite gets there, because that, that's, that's pre-calculus. Or calculus. So, well, it's like... Point nine 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 is the limit as x approaches one, which makes it like I don't know because limits are just weird and pi is math equation and also food. But let's look at this demonstration of that one guy's theory about stuff that I don't quite understand. Okay, so. Godzilla and Darth Vader are in a race. And because Darth Vader has the force and stuff, and Godzilla's big and sluggish and stuff, Godzilla has like a head start. So he's going, and then he gets here. And then Darth Vader gets to where Godzilla started. Understand? Okay, good. Okay, so Godzilla goes even further, then Darth Vader gets to where Godzilla was right then. Then Godzilla gets here, then Darth Vader gets there. And they just get closer and closer and closer until Darth Vader stabs Godzilla with his lightsaber, and then Godzilla knocks him off the table, and then dies from the lightsaber wound. And that's all about limits. Let's look at some equations on the computer. Interesting. I am enswaged. Well, well, um, so carrying on about limits, you see, it's very simple, really. There's no point. They, I mean, you just need to find the number that's there, but. While that's going on, you need to find the number that's not there, you know? Well, let's take a look at some more equations on the computer because I don't know what to talk about. Wow, that's a great movie, which is why everyone should buy 300 on DVD or Blu-ray. Well, as you could see by that movie, that short clip of that awesome, amazing movie that's the best movie in the world, um, there was a lot of calculus involved. I mean, as you could see, that spear really jiggle-jaggled all around before it hit that guy in the chest. Jiggle-jaggled. Um, yeah, so that movie is so deeply involved in calculus that every calculus teacher should totally show it in their class. Um, there's a lot of equations going on in Leonidas' mind as he 
just brutally massacred that Persian army. Brutally massacred and stabbed and such and whatnot. I'm gonna go watch that again. Well, I have to stop watching that or I'll get stuck watching it all day. Which I think I will. So that concludes this calculus lesson. So now you know how to do calculus. Jiggle jaggle. A swatch.